Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John says many a truder. Welcome back to Empire Total War. Well, last time, oh, things just keep getting more and more complicated. Almost like, you know, invading an entire continent is a little bit on the tricky side. Because, uh, okay, so, right now, what we've got is a stalemate. I can't move my troops up because the cities I've already taken would revolt. And they don't have the power to dislodge me. Which would be fine aside from the fact apparently they're just slipping armies away off to the magic teleportation zone when I'm not bloody looking. So all of a sudden, the Maratha have a giant army just chilling out in the Caribbean. Right now, they're contained. But, um, yes, can't help but notice they do now possess the nastiest shipyard in the entire bloody sea. If they can liberate it, they can start getting six rates out locally. That's going to be a problem. Because they've got the economy to just keep spamming those up all day, every day. We've got to dislodge them. But you know what? This kind of works, actually, now I think about it. Which is, we've got ourselves a, a pretty good army. Led by the biggest badass in the entire world. Just chilling out here in Mexico. And we've just made peace with Spain. Meaning... Okay, it might be time for this guy to reinforce his army, kick out the Marathans, and then head over to the main theatre in India. Still, I'll tell you what I am willing to do. Back in India, I'm pretty sure at this point we don't need a full stack in both these cities. Not for public order, not for defence either. I may as well start at least, yes, threatening to push forwards. Now that is a good scary army in striking range of a lot of stuff. So hopefully that'll scare them off a bit. That's all we could do for now. Let's see how they react and also what's going on elsewhere in the world. Oh, income bloody pressure again. But, 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 it doesn't matter because... Britain. Oh, well, this is just annoying and embarrassing. I was kind of assuming Britain would come to help. Okay, seriously, me and Prussia need to have... A words with each other. They are beginning to annoy me. Oh, now uh, here's an interesting one. Poland's finally decided uh, they've had enough. Now, admittedly, okay, my army is a bit out of position right now. I was getting a bit right. I moved my army out of position. Now Poland is sniffing blood in the water, and they might just pull some other people into war with them. If we're lucky, no. They didn't pull in Sweden, they didn't pull in Spain. It's purely a one-on-one -on -one situation, so... Okay, buddy, watch your next move precisely, because... Okay, it's time to get the fourth rates home and sort out this nonsense. Russia, meanwhile, are seriously starting to push Sweden. Sweden could be in trouble, Sweden could be eliminated. There are enough armies floating around to just wipe them out. Okay, never mind. Sweden's back in anyway. The situation in Europe is starting to deteriorate a bit. None of their allies either, though. So, okay, Sweden is back in. Spain still isn't. So, okay, obviously don't invite Britain. They just refuse to betray Sweden. So, okay, we need to, we need to get the army back home, like, now. Because all of a sudden, right... The situation in Europe has not necessarily worked out in our favour. We need to, um, yes, oh bloody hell. Especially as, excuse me, please stop just marching around my armies and then burning everything down. That's not cool. Ooh, one exciting thing though, we've got a new type of explosive that I could shoot out of my howitzers. It's a bit better than explosive shot, but to be honest, it's much of a muchness. Oh, and bloody perfect timing. The general in Europe has just decided to up and die, so okay. Okay, okay, okay. Who do I want to fight? Because uh, it is traditional for me to just pay off Sweden occasionally. And to be honest, I kind of want Sweden to stay focused on, uh, yes, the more important local issues. We don't want Russia getting out of control. Okay, if they start seizing Baltic ports, I am not happy about that. Because sooner or later, yeah, we're going back to war because we hate each other. So, I wouldn't object to just paying off Sweden to keep them busy. Prussia, you get to live. Because my troops need to uh, make it home in a hurry. 
Though, also, thinking about it, who deserves to be our next general? Because, okay, you lads are, are the most experienced. Ah, but wait. The grenade lads are obviously... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you. It's got to be you. Four stars are straight away. Uncle to his men. Soldier from birth. Steady under fire. That is not bad. So, okay. Everybody back home. We're going to be going to Berlin to defend our holdings right there. Admittedly, Berlin is a tiny bit vulnerable right now. What's this fleet, by the way? Is it nothing but trash? Nothing but trash. Okay. Get the Navy back home because... Uh, oh, yeah. Ho, 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 yeah. You guys, uh, you need a run out, don't you? Oh, I bet you flipping do as well. Okay, use troops from Sweden to, yes, displace the Polish forces uh, right over here. Unfortunately, with Polish nearby, I can't use the straits. So these troops I was trying to get back to Europe to put together a new army to ship over to India. That's not going to work. But then again, I might need these troops a bit more locally anyway. Sweden's in a good enough shape for now, then again. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy off Sweden. Right, done straight away. 1,500 for five turns and we've got trade back too. Now, I could, could in theory, probably do the same to Poland. But to be honest, I feel like their fleet needs a spanking. But on the other, other hand, you guys could probably go straight to Amsterdam and blockade it. And if you were to do that, then... Okay. Trade income, 21,000. Current income, only 7,000. It is dangerous to leave that fleet in position given there is nothing I can do to stop it. Okay, you know what? I've learnt a valuable lesson. An expensive lesson, but we are where we are. I think we need to buy peace with Poland, so next time this happens, we can punish them without having to worry about imminent bankruptcy. Six grand up front and a bit of technology, done. Now, admittedly, this means I've basically got um, no money this turn, but sometimes there's just no money. That's the price of peace, damn it. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure I just saw Kill Fleet has arrived. Excellent. Get them into port and I cannot afford to repair them anymore, can I? No, 100% I can't. Dear oh flippin' dear. I also can't afford to repair the damaged infrastructure the Marathons are just raiding because they're sending in small raiding parties at left, right, and center. So, okay, we need to also deal with this, though, to be honest. Most of these guys are... Okay, hang on, no. Those are Sikh Musketeers. Those are actually really, really good. All right, don't underestimate that. Use uh, these forces uh, just to sort this out. Okay, the two small forces are taken care of uh, with tiny detachments. No trouble there whatsoever, though. Keep an eye on these guys. They might be a little bit more difficult, potentially. Now, this force, these guys are being a bit more forward with me. So, all right. What's that, by the way? That's camel nomads. That is a horseman who do have... Okay, you do have some guns on horses, but there's also, yeah, a lot of just camel stuff. So, camel stuff's not too bad. Hindu musketeers are fine, if unspectacular. Armed peasantry. They've got militia in this army. Okay, this should not be too difficult, as long as I play sensibly. The key, of course, is not just to win, but win in such an overwhelming way that my troops can keep moving straight forward on to the next. Though, this is not a good Odia. Look at this, we got hills in the way. This is a bad landscape for me, so okay. Let's fall back to the flatter area over here. I've got more guns. Uh, they've kind of got no choice but to come to me. So if we fall back a bit, this angle looks much better. Okay, looks like I'm right. They are moving down the hill towards me. At the bare minimum, uh, they're repositioning into a better location. As for that one cannon, sadly it is able to be moved. We've seen Maratha with a really old school cannons in the past. On this occasion, yeah, they can actually bring it up. So, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping we might be able to eliminate that straight away. 
not on this occasion and immediately some troops are starting to move into position howitzers yeah currently set to you know what two of them can be set to yes the new carcass shot one to explosive shower we'll see which gets the most kills so in comes some shots right there still not the most accurate in the world but we're doing our best damn it in all of that when those flames hit, it does do good work. These guys are not happy. And that's the Sikhs. That's probably the single best unit they've got on the field. Uh, right, cavalry starts coming uh, forward, straight into gunfire. Ah, that was their gun cav. They were trying to come forward to skirmish, but against my ranks, bad decision. Off you go. What else do we have uh, here? Yeah, more of them. So they're sending their gun cav forward to uh, skirmish, but honestly, there's just way too much firepower here there's nothing that they can do to me to penetrate this line and we're also seeing okay it's starting to rain not sure if that actually affects my being on fire shot in the slightest i don't believe it does are you trying to get on top of my cannons you might be you know but you're going to die momentarily so it's kind of okay you're already wavering let's just make sure we see it them off Okay, there's much less going on on this flank over here. So I'm pretty happy to start bringing you guys forward into a surround and flank position. And yeah, same thing to the cavalry. Start bringing it forward. Honestly, there's not much here. These guys are, yeah, that's the trash with only 80. Nothing to worry about there. And the cannonies are way at the back. Just stuck doing nothing for the time being. If they basically toss their cavalry away, that means we just send ours forward to counter charge. They will be breaking momentarily. As soon as they do, we send our cavalry up here, annihilate this, job done. Looks like they're sort of trying to move to counter my position over here, but it's not doing a great job right now. They're really struggling to yeah, get on top of it anything do i want to maybe deploy my yes grenade lads a bit further forward uh, we've also got ah the seat warriors are right there okay i know what we want to do here guys turn 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 bomb 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 toss some bombs at them please toss some bombs at them those guys are actually kind of okay you can stop now stop and toss bombs at the seat warriors and okay that's they've got a little bit on top of me unfortunately right here i might lose a handful of cannons and oh blimey well we did some some nuking right there they appear to be wavering and breaking and naffing off okay well job appears to be done regardless all right end of the day 84 losses to them being eliminated i'll take it that's not so bad though admittedly they did darn it they were not completely destroyed. They managed to step forward a bit, which means irritatingly, I should pursue them just to make sure they stay dead. Okay, would you guys like to... There we go. Now they've decided they're happy to die. These troops move over to here. We reunify the army, though priority needs to be fixing up the cannons next turn i believe uh, we should be in range uh, to yeah move in and take another city pretty small city but it will deny them a port still one thing i have been keeping in my back pocket i've been slowly training a handful of troops right over here in ceylon it's not a brilliant army but as i was mentioning last time if i was just to uh, ship it all the way up here, I suspect that we could actually make some pretty good progress just denying territory to the Marathons up here. I suspect some of this is mostly unguarded. You guys get over to here, join up with, I'm pretty sure we got, yeah, one more sniper right there. Let's get you moving. All right, get up in this direction. You're going to be there in no time whatsoever. And should I maybe? I can't afford to spare the troops right now. This is starting to look, yes, a little bit overstretched, actually. I mean, bare minimum. If we take this city, this will be the lightning rod that draws all the Marathon attention. Which will mean there should be less stress being put down over here. 
Alright everybody else in the world, what do you have for me? Well one, I was sending a spy deeper into Poland, uh, just to keep an eye on them. Spain has got a handful of troops near the border with Mexico, but not planning to do anything too stupid just yet. Though they are eating more and more of North America. Keep an eye on that, because Britain does not seem to be stopping them. Like, at all. Oh, here it comes. The Russian army is uh, moving in on Swedish territory. I don't know what they're going to do to stop them. I mean, right now they're just burning down ports, burning down... Oh, blimey. Okay, never mind. Sweden just came in and kicked Russia's ass, but there are reinforcements nearby. And also Sweden... You cheeky monkeys, are you going straight back down to retake Moscow? Because if so, well done. Hang on, where are we? What what theatre are we in? Oh, I see you. I flipping see you, Maratha Confederacy. Okay, are they going to be able to get their, their troops ashore? They didn't just get their troops ashore, but they did just blockade a port. Okay, Maratha are being very annoying. Like, so, so bloody annoying right now. Also, yes, what the bloody hell just happened down over here? So, you guys decided to blockade this port, but you did not put your army ashore. Everything's under control, aside from the fact I'm getting really, really sick of these stupid bastards. Get some cavalry out. We need to drive them out of here before they get their troops ashore, because... Okay, if they unload their troops next turn and walk over here, they are going to just seize Dutch Guiana. And there is nothing I can do to stop them. Literally nothing. Okay, get boats into position. Okay, I want you to train up a new boat right here. Just one brig for safety. I need this army to be on the move. I need it to be repaired while it's going. I need you to just... Get over here. How is New Spain doing, by the way? Not happy. Okay, maybe we build, like... How much can we build here, by the way? Uh, how many units? Three. Alright. Dragoons. Dragoons are highly efficient when it comes to policing. So, you guys, are combined with two more units of cav, take the boat starting tomorrow. Two boats for safety. Might reinforce that, just in case Spain feels stupid. But next turn, you guys are heading in this direction. Because this is starting to get a bit out of hand. And I'm really worried they're about to take over Dutch Guiana. Okay, seriously, money just keeps disappearing and I don't know where it's going. Because I just cannot get Killfleet back up to strength. And I will say this is... Uh, this is a clever move. The army that was over here is now threatening me directly. Meaning this army could just walk over here and take Goa right now. But if I do, they will be able to take something right back. Now this army is uh, okay. Not great. We're getting out of the good stuff here. They do have mortars. I don't have mortars yet. They've got mortars. Nice thing about mortars is ridiculously long range. 750. Unfortunate, but we are where we are. Let's go get them. Because uh, this should uh, be manageable. Alright, buddy, let's... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Apparently I can't make it to you. Can I make it to you? And pull the... Gosh darn it. Okay. Irritating. I can't even get my troops into position to attack this guy. I could send the cavalry forwards to... Oh, that would be risky. I'm pretty sure if I just sent my cavalry forwards right now, I could attack this guy and me and him would be pulled into a fight. The rest of my army would be reinforcements and the army standing next to him would be reinforcements too. But I'm going to give it a go, sure, if I'm allowed to. So, okay, hang about here. Hang about. I am now going to take you on and yes, exactly as I expected. So let's make this happen. By the way, there's also, right, there's also Seek Musketeers. All right, though. Oh, genius. His mortars aren't allowed to get involved because they don't move. So, okay. 
by sheer coincidence, this is going to be brilliant. Just remember, according to the rules of Empire, I don't know from what direction my reinforcements are coming. Or from what direction his reinforcements are coming. It's a complete flipping gamble. I don't know whether they could even come from uh, the same direction. Is that allowed? Uh, and okay. This works for me. I'll flip and take it. My guys uh, are coming from my rear. Good, 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 good. Guys, uh, fall back. Fall back for a second. Uh, okay, my troops are arriving a bit on the slow side because, yes, they can only arrive uh, one by one, meaning a unit can't arrive until the last one is uh, done arriving. So, uh, Till this unit has got this man all the way in the field, the next guy can't spawn. So, uh, it's going to be a few minutes before my armies arrived. Uh, they're moving up, but my cannons uh, have already got into uh, position. So, bare minimum. If they want to advance, they are doing it into cannon fire. This is... Oh, this is going to be a weird-ass fight. Here we go. Bit of cavalry is deciding it wants to uh, come in and say a hi, and is already being, yes, murdered uh, very, very fast indeed. Uh, we do have uh, some troops ready to assist. Do not let the lancers uh, get on top of the cannons, uh, by the way. Please uh, intercept them. Uh, oh, never mind. I've been, uh, I've been too slow. I've been too slow again. I'm about to lose some more cocking cannons. Uh, it's only the 12 pounders, though. Honestly, of all the cannons, uh, we could lose at random. That is uh, not the worst. At least we've taken out some of their cavalry straight away. Okay, seat musketeers have started showing up, but we have got shotgun cannons ready to go. I have got, yes, some uh, line infantry ready to take a shot as well. And I've got cavalry nearby. You're moving into range, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Right up the backside of you. What else is around? Bloody hell, everyone's just coming in in a completely bloody random order. This is going to get messy. But on the plus side, yes, we can see off you guys uh, nice and fast, kind of shooting your own uh, horses there. I'm sure it's all absolutely a-okay. Okay, I'm trapped in the corner. They're now moving up with uh, all of their, yes, uh, various gun lines, uh, which is a problem because my cannons are just randomly exposed. Uh, I don't actually have uh, a battle line of any noteworthy description. Bare minimum, at least everyone... Yes, the cannons seem to have got the memo that they're cannons again. Great. You guys just push forward. Cavalry, do whatever you bloody can. Honestly, just, yeah, just keep it busy while we desperately try and get some form of a line. Everyone who's not running should be running right about now. Uh, everyone who's not shooting should be shooting right about now. I think they're trying to rush my cannons at this exact moment in time. Deploy the cavalry into the center. What is this? That's, uh, yes, just Bagheer infantry. Don't worry too much about that. You guys are not too happy. You're going to be shot momentarily by various cannons. You're being shot. You're being shot. Good. We've got something coming in. They're shaken. Good cavalry charge. Might see them off. Honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of playing for time. Um, you guys move forward and intercept these guys. That will be absolutely fine. You guys pull forward and just... Everyone just do what you can. Do what you feel like. It's, it's all fine. They're forming a square. That's actually good. Pull the cavalry back over to here, actually. Here would be here would be good. How about over here? How's this line doing? Okay, this, this is going fine. You guys are going to start shooting momentarily. We're probably about to start shooting into the back of our own troops, like our own cannons. Uh, they need some repairs anyway. I'm sure it's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Keep the general nice and safe. This is not a scary army. It's just my positioning is absolutely bloody terrible. Because, okay, this, this was a mistake. The stupid reinforcement army plan. Definitely a mistake. And at this point, okay, we're just trying to nuke everyone with fire. It's all, it's all absolutely fine. Um, this is going, this is going fine. You guys are moving into a better position. Oh, there's more coming over there, so you can't do that. Okay, you move into a better position. You move into this position right over here. Everybody just run. How many more gun lines are there? Okay, we're seeing off them broken. You're going to be shot to pieces. You're in a good position. You, just a tiny bit further forward, you will win that exchange without too much in the way of difficulty. Taking apart their square at the moment, 
And okay. I think this is now going better. Like, well would not be the right term, but we do seem to have, like, a line that makes sense. Where are their cannons? Way at the back, no trouble there whatsoever. Okay, where are my cavalry? Right over to here. Oh, you guys should not be there. You guys shouldn't be, shouldn't be there at all. In fact, where even are you? I don't know. Okay, just ram into these guys because it says they're steady, but they're being shot. So I don't really believe it. So wavering and now for off. Buddy, broken, good. Get the cavalry around the back. Take out their artillery. What's going on around this side? They're charging in with these lads. You guys go into melee mode and just execute them. You guys come over here and start shooting them in the side and back. It looks like their center is pretty much collapsing at this point. How much damage have we taken? Not actually that much. So, this could have gone worse. Could have gone better too. Like, a lot better. But it could have gone worse. Still, we've learned a valuable lesson here, which is don't rely on reinforcements again. That was a mess, and we lost more than we needed to, and more than we can afford to repair, incidentally. And, yeah, that was the best case scenario, where my own troops appeared behind me. They could have appeared anywhere else. That could have gone much worse. Okay, 325 lost, honestly. I'll take it. It's not that bad. So you buddy get stabbed to death. That army just ceases to exist. This guy is forced to retreat because he just lost. Probably all the way back to the nearest city, if we're lucky. Meaning there's not much he's going to be able to do going forward. And you were also involved in this fight. So you are also forced to retreat. And I have got... No money. Literally none for replenishment. Also, can you actually join together? These armies can't even join together. I love it. Ah, yes, that reminds me. Spain, old buddy, old pal. Me and you need to have a chat about trading. And... Okay, he does not want to trade. Which is a shame, because he should... I'll be willing to toss you a tiny bit of tack, like say, yes, some naval tack in return for trades. All right, complete a success. Good, 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 good. We are now trading with Spain, and I'm guessing that's going to be worth a lot as time goes by. Yeah, three grand straight away. Although I'm going to be honest, I am straight up scared of hitting the end turn button because, uh, yeah, um... Maratha might be about to do something terrible to me. Seriously. Maratha's presence in the Caribbean is becoming irritating. Okay, Sweden has still got armies moving around somewhere. I just don't know what they actually want. And yes, indeed. Once again, I'm guessing you're going to try and displace my troops. That is way up north and near Persia. Don't worry about that. You're about to try and... Oh no, I've just... I've baited him into occupying the port, meaning when I land my troops, it's going to be the end of their turn, which is uh, very irritating, but we are where we are. On the plus side, though, look down in here. I think we're finally starting to bleed them dry. All right, plenty of troops are piling down south, but their losses are much more significant per fight than mine, and they are desperately trying to take back some ports. Okay, at the bare minimum... Thank flipping goodness, get out of my port and get into my sea fights. Oh lads, was it Dutch Guiana you were after? Oh no, 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 I don't think so. Oh, this is hilarious by the way, this sometimes happens. I've managed to um, demast one of my own ships. You can accidentally tear the sails off them, which my ships just did during this turning maneuver. And uh, they panicked so much, they immediately surrendered, which is absolutely fine because they've still got basically no guns. But yes, I just accidentally took out one of my own ships in a turning maneuver because the sails do have like proper physics, which is hilarious. Two brigs is more than enough to take out one sloop. We've also demastered this ship. Sorry, did that to you by accident, but this one was uh, intentional. So uh, you're pretty much just uh, sitting in the water right now. 
I guess we have to assume, like, you know, a half-stack army is just chilling out below decks and... Uh, oh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Dutch Guiana is mine. All right. Perhaps you didn't get the memo, but you're not going anywhere. Get the cock out of my ocean. And there we go. Surrendered. Love it. Right, you buddy. You're going over to the sea police because seriously... We need some money. Down to the bottom of the ocean you go. Problem has been solved. And to kind of but notice that yes, you're trying to repair your uh, little port right there. Unacceptable. Burn it down. We need to deal with this problem. This is becoming more and more of an issue. So, 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 so. Speaking of which, you guys, hang on, why are there agents? Oh, that's a Spanish agent. Don't worry about him. That's fine. Deploy additional troops to here. Get Navy out of port. Get you into Navy and get Navy on the move. All right, we can start getting some good troops moving in this direction. Still, bare minimum, before we do anything else, seriously, repair this damn fleet. It's only going to cost like 1,500. So next turn, that should be back up to snuff. Lovely. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bare minimum. We know there's a handful of troops over here. Battered though, in fact. Hang on. Some of their cities are kind of on fire. There might be rebellions going on, actually. I mean, we did see before. Some of these cities are barely holding on in terms of uh, public order. Okay, time for a warning shot across the bows. Get some troops ashore. We have now got ourselves, uh, yes, a force right here. And guys, uh, you can have a general. He is completely unremarkable, but he'll do. All right, so you guys uh, can start taking out this. At the absolute bare minimum, you're going to draw some attention. And as another absolute bare minimum, I'd say it's time. All right, this force here is uh, small. It's battered. It's not getting in here. We can make a move. It is now safe. We have bled them enough. We can take a port back. And we could just, just make it there this turn. Oh, guys, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, and better and better, it's actually going to pull the Sikh Musketeers out of the nearby port. So we can eliminate them at the same time. Brilliant. Oh, it's a grim old day for this. And uh, oh, guys. Guys, 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 I am so sorry about all of this, but I'm going to be moving in about now, and you don't actually get a say. All right, your basic lads are being seen off, and no major problems right there. Only thing of note is, yes, on the left, the Sikh Musketeers aren't coming in, but yes, even though they're pretty good, they do not have access to fire by rank, so I'd say we can just basically push in on them because yes indeed their front rank is trying to uh yes reload uh, while standing up bad call guys bad bad call indeed because i don't have to do that i have mastered the ancient martial art technique of uh, kneeling down a bit so as a result of that we're going to win this one uh, nice and easy and over here fireworks are just raining down on you poor bastards uh, combined with a bit of fire that's enough to see you off Okay, now here, technological advantage, dominating victory. That's more cocking like it. There we go. Nine losses, that's more like it. And with that, we have moved in, taken a brand new territory. This port belongs to me, so there is, yeah, some tea we can trade. Not bad, not bad at all. And more importantly, I have now got an army in place to move against the center of everything. Their most advanced military building. Their most advanced government building. Their most advanced everything. Whether I want to take this over or not is one question. But, 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 but. Denying it to them, that is kind of worth it just by itself. And just to make sure that no one's about to plan anything stupid, take this fleet and cocking surround that port. Do not let it train or get out anything. And then, oh, I'm not looking forward to this. How much is it going to cost me to repair this army? Okay, 
So once again, we're out of money. We are out of money, like, a second time. But on the plus side, uh, Killfleet is about to be back up to strength. This army is about to be back up to strength. We have taken a brand new territory. We are making absolute sure no more boats are escaping. And on top of that, I have sent a group of units to cause some trouble in the north. Just to distract them. Maybe take a handful of territory. Maybe hand it straight over to the Ottomans. But still, there is one a hell of a fight that's coming up next time. And that is my grand force of amazing native troops, led by the biggest badass in the world, versus this here force of Marathans on Antigua. So, okay, strange sentence to say out loud, but that army does not appear to have repaired itself so far. Fine, it's got cannons, but it doesn't have that many guns. And its cavalry is basic stuff. Alright, that's all camels. So we don't need to worry too much about that. Though they do have a good general with them. I will give them that's... That's interesting. So, okay, it's possibly my best general versus theirs fighting for the fate of cocking Antigua. Plus, of course, do not forget the most interesting fight in the world that doesn't involve me, Sweden versus Russia. How is that going to shake out? Because, uh, oh yeah, that one's getting nasty too. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, yes indeed, depending on how things go, we might be pushing against the Marathon capital. Alright, largely, to be honest, because I want to annoy them ports. Their ports are getting very, very annoying, but if we take this... I don't think the rest of this is actually that scary at all. We might have just neutered their ability to rebuild. So, 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 join me next time to see if maybe, just maybe, we've turned a corner and the campaign might be about to start swinging in our favour. And whether indeed we can keep Europe nice and peaceful because... Uh, Big question marks over there. I can't keep buying those guys off forever. So we'll see what comes up next. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Empire Total War. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no. enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah.